Hello, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I perform two tests, one is this linear generator and the other is a steam turbine. I will start with this first. See, this is a linear piston that I showed in a video and made a small change to make it work with steam. This piston moves very easily and the steam connection and disconnection part is very interesting. The volume of the piston is very small, so its steam consumption will be very low and therefore it can work for a long time. I put a coil here and if we increase the number of coils and magnets, we can get a good voltage. I connect this to the steam outlet. I need gloves. Before connecting the hose, I want to test the steam pressure 5 bar for you. How strong can the steam pressure really be and this is a can of paint. The weight of the can is almost half a kilogram. Because the steam pressure is low, we do not need to close the pipe. The generated voltage is only 3 volts alternating. You can see that we don't have any pressure drop because the consumption is low. Of course, the weather is partly cloudy. Well, let's go to the second test. This week I chose to make the turbine pulley bigger to increase the speed of the generator. I set the voltage of the multimeter to 200 volts DC. And now I open the steam valve.
This multimeter is confused and cannot show the voltage value because the DC voltage is probably not pure. I use this analog multimeter and set the voltage to 120 volts DC, and I hope it can be seen well. I have to move the voltmeter probes. You can see that the voltage is approximately 110 volts, and if I set the range to 300 volts, it confirms the voltage of 110 volts. The big reel was able to do our job well. Now, to show you the amount of current, I will connect the generator wires together. You can see what it sparks, so it has a good current. You saw what a good voltage it gave us. And I use the same combination to complete the power plant. This big reel has two advantages. Firstly, it gives us the right voltage, and it also makes the speed of the turbine rotation lower and, as a result, the noise of the turbine is lower. It was a good experience and goodbye until the next program.